okay, here we are. Module one, we're gonna do visions and goals. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do today and your first assignment is you're either gonna make a vision box out of a box of Kleenex or you're gonna make a vision board. And you think, what, arts and crafts? I'm paying all this money for arts and crafts? No. Like I talked about earlier, when we set up a goal the beginning of the year, January 1st, which we all do, I've done it a million times. Well, I'm not actually a million because I'm not a million years old, but I've done it countless times. I have set up my goals January 1st. And then what happens at the end of January, I've completely forgotten about it because life has gotten in the way. But as soon as I discovered this hack about how to set an intention and how to have visions, then I attach my why, why am I doing this to my visions? Then I have visual reminders on a daily basis of why I'm doing this. And it's very, very inspirational. I'm telling you, it's completely changed my life. I also do this exercise every single semester at college, the college that I teach at as a midterm. And they all react the exact same way you did, probably. Not that I can see you, but they're all like, what, arts and crafts? And then about 15 to 20 minutes into it, I always play music, the room gets quiet and everybody gets completely into the exercise. Not only that, I have had countless students come back to me and tell me that everything that they put on their vision board or in their vision box has come true. So I am telling you it works. There is lots of science brain research that tells us that our brain actually does not know the difference between a picture of something and an actual object. And when we set our intentions out there, the universe just has no choice but to bring it back to us. So there's number one. Also, when life gets tough, things get in the way, Work calls us on an overnight. We have to take a week long trip overseas. Our parents get sick. Our husband wants us to um, throw a dinner party for 40 people. Our children have some special event and all of our goals come crashing down, which is gonna happen and that's fine. I'm not saying life shouldn't get in the way because life will get in the way, but to get back on track, you're going to have this front and center. You're going to see this every single day because you're going to put it somewhere where you're going to see it every single day. And then you're going to get reminded, oh, that's right. I need to get back on track and you will get back on track. Here's the third reason. The reason I like to have a box. One, I keep the box on my desk at work. It's very inconspicuous. No one has ever asked me what it is but it's a visual reminder of why I am working so hard on my business. That's my personal thing right now. I am also, uh, my intention is to build my dream home. So I have lots of pictures of beautiful homes by the beach. And so it reminds me, why am I doing this? Why am I working so hard? Okay, the box, when something happens, Somebody pisses me off. My boss asked me to do something that I'm really not thrilled about. My partner or husband says something. It aggra aggravates me, something. I take a sticky, I write it on there, and then I throw it right in the box. And guess what? It's out of my head. I don't think about it anymore. And then I can actually focus on what I need to focus on. Before that happened, I would let these things go around and around and around in my head. They would rent space in my head for 24, 48 hours, sometimes a week. What a waste of time and energy. Now I just pop it in the box. I don't have to talk to anybody about it. It just goes in the box. Okay, that's why we're doing this. Plus it's fun. 
do it with your kids, do it with a friend, have a party, have a whole bunch of friends come over and do a vision board party. I have done that too. If we were all in the same location, then we would all be doing this together and we would be having kicks and giggles, all right? So that's why we're doing this. How do you do it? You just get a simple Kleenex box. You can pull the Kleenex out or you can wait till it's empty. That's up to you. You get magazines. I have markers, glue sticks, scissors. Now, I kind of go all out because I've been doing this for many years. I have little stickers. I have things with sayings on them. You don't have to go that elaborate, but it is kind of fun to go to Michael's or Joann's or any craft store that you have near you and kind of get really creative, all right? I have bows, hearts, buttons, um, pictures, all sorts of things on my box. Then what you're gonna do, I also have stamps. I've got stamps and a little ink pad. You can get those at all the craft stores. Get as creative as you want. This is your box, these are your visions. So then all you do is you're gonna go through the magazines, cut out any words, any sayings, any pictures. Here's one, go beyond what you know. I would cut that out and then you just glue it on your box. You make a collage. Then you can stick, look, I have a little flower on mine. You can stick all sorts of things. Like I said, I am working on one vision board for my dream home. So you just go, you can go to CVS, Walgreens, you can go to the Dollar Tree, and they have big poster boards. I actually like the ones that are thick, that don't fall down, um, but please get whatever it is you want. And then with the vision board, you can, it's much bigger, obviously it has more surface space, so you can put a lot more on it. All right, that's, that's how you do it. Then after you get it done, you are going to put this, your vision board or your box somewhere where you see it every single day, hopefully many times a day. Now, if you're in a relationship, a marriage, and you want to keep it a little bit private, obviously you're not going to bring this to the office and hang it up. Maybe you will. I don't know. Go ahead, put it in your closet, in your dressing room, and somewhere, where, put it but next to your home desk, put it somewhere where you're going to see it every single day. Your brain is going to get used to seeing these pictures, seeing these words, and your brain is gonna go, oh yeah, that's right. Those things are coming to me. And I guarantee you, I guarantee you, it's gonna come. It may not come tomorrow, but it will come to you. Keep it front and center. You are more powerful than you think you are. And I want you to start right here. Remember, your visions are your why. Your visions are why you're going to keep going even when the times get tough.